Want to know what it's really like to use a file effects molding as your everyday planner? Well, this is the video for you. Hey there, planner friends. So the file effects molding, in my opinion, is a classic when it comes to leather planner covers with its gorgeous antique leather in a great range of colors, plus the little cheeky exclusive colors that they bring out every year and a good choice in terms of sizes. This is definitely one of my favorite go-to planners. But what if you're not sure? What if you're on the fence about buying a molding and you want to know whether it's gonna be a good fit for your planner style or if you're even gonna like the interior layout? Well, this is the video for you because I'm gonna go through my two Filofax moldings and let you know what it's really like to use them on the daily. So let's go to my desk, jump to the overhead view and check out the molding. The file effects molding truly is the perfect example of relaxed style with its gorgeous buffalo leather in supple antiqued finish, the natural color stitching which contrasts beautifully on the darker leathers and its overall laid back yet luxurious vibe. This is definitely a planner worth adding to your lineup if you're more of a low key but high quality type. Now, in terms of the colour lineup, we've got a great selection of dark colours. So you've got black, ochre and navy. Now, for me, I feel like the black and the navy are ideal for those that want something more on the smart casual vibe. Whereas the ochre, which I have here, is great for the down to earth types that like something cosy and rustic. And then with the light colours, we have stone, duck, egg, orchid and pink. Now, the duck, egg, orchid and pink are great pastel colors with a yummy ice cream kind of vibe to them. They're very much those candy colors that just make you feel very joyful. The stone is a great option for those who like something a bit more neutral. I've got the stone here in my lineup and it's just that great choice when you don't want something that's really dark that you might use more in autumn and winter. You just want something that's neutral and light for the spring summer months. This is Editing Chloe adding that on the UK version of the Filofax website I also spotted two additional colours. This gorgeous fruity pear colour as well as this electrifying iris. Now I would say this green and purple hue are great for those who want something bold and vibrant that's going to stand out. For the size lineup, we've got A5, Personal, Compact Personal Zip, Pocket, and Mini. Now, I do have the Filofax A5 in my collection. This is what I would describe as a stay at home desk planner. It is quite chunky. You've got 30 millimeter rings inside here and it is quite weighty so it's not really a planner that you're going to be chucking in and in and out of a bag every single day now the personal size which i also have in my lineup is great as an on-the-go planner it's not too big and chunky we've got 23 millimeter rings in there and it's just great for being able to chuck it in your bag and go run do errands and things like that now, a few that I don't have in my lineup at the moment is the pocket size molding, which has a ring capacity of 19 millimeters. This is really great if you just need something for jotting things down, you want to really be able to take it anywhere, fit it inside your pocket and be able to kind of grab and go. Then we have the mini size molding. Now, this isn't really a planner that you're going to be able to do a great deal of planning in because the ring capacity is only 15 millimeters and it is a dinky planner. It makes the perfect option if you need something to use as a wallet that also can double up as a great place for just jotting down notes and making a reference point to any appointments and things like that. New to the Filofax Molden lineup is the Compact Personal Zip. Now, it's a similar sort of size to the Personal, except it's a bit more narrow. It has slightly smaller rings in that they are 15 millimeter rings, so it's not quite as chunky. But what I love about the compact personal zip is that you have the detachable interior ring so you can truly turn this planner into a little wristlet or little clutch bag kind of scenario if you want to be able to have your um, credit cards some change or if you do a cash envelope system then the personal zip is probably a great choice for you. 
as I said before, I've got the A5 and the personal in my lineup. And the reason that I have these two sizes is that when I go traveling, I just prefer to have something that's slightly more compact, a bit lighter weight, and just easy to sort of maneuver in terms of chucking it in my luggage or my overnight bag. But I am truly an A5 girl. I've got um, three kids and there's a lot to plan and a lot to juggle as well as running the business. So for me, the A5, I work from home. So it just stays on my desk. I grab it open in the morning, plan out my day, close it down at the night. And yeah, I love the A5 size. So let's take a look inside the mold and let's have a look inside the A5 first. As you can see, it has a very simple setup internally. There aren't loads of card slots and pockets and all kinds of things going on. It's very clean and streamlined, which is one of the things that I absolutely love about this planner. You have one vertical zipped pocket, which is great for just popping any cash or loose change into, maybe paper clips. Small bits and pieces, stationary items like that is a great place to keep this where you're not going to lose them. Then there's a vertical slip pocket which goes all the way down. This is just a great place to store any sticker sheets, keeping them to hand when you need them. There are two card slots and they don't go all the way down. So don't worry, you're not going to lose your card if you put them in there. They just sit quite nicely to hand. Below the two card slots, you've got a slightly taller slot, which again, doesn't go all the way down. I've just got my stack of sticky notes there so that they are to hand. And then behind that, you've got one vertical slip pocket, which does go all the way down. And this is just a great place for keeping any note paper and stuff like that. Lovely big 30 millimeter rings. There's a nice mechanism with the Filofax rings, very sturdy, a good clip sound really secure. I do like the Filofax mechanism for their rings. And then at the back, we've got one pocket for a notepad. I've just got my traveler's notebook in here. This is a standard size TN. It's my gratitude journal. And I just like to keep it in the back here so that I have it to hand and it fits in really nicely. Now you've got two pen loops, one on the front cover and one on the back cover. Note that these are full leather pen loops. They are not elasticated. So my Tombow fits quite nicely inside one of the pen loops, but the other pen loop, it's maybe a bit too much of a tight fit to get my Sarasa in there. I don't really want to stretch it, but as you can see, because it is a Sarasa clip, I can easily just clip it onto the pen loop and it seems to be pretty secure there. You've got a lovely strap to the front of the planner cover. It's got some lovely detailing and it's certainly enough room when I've got these two pens in there to hold everything. I don't have my planner bulked out, so that might be something that I'd want to watch for. There is a slight bit of a clash with my dividers here. So again, that might be something you'd want to watch for. But overall, I'm really happy with the uh, interior layout of the Molden. Now let's have a look at the personal size. So it is a very similar layout in that you have, let's get them side by side. You have the vertical zip pocket. Behind that, there is also another vertical slip pocket. You've got the two card pockets, but you have an additional two card pockets below that, as well as the slip, vertical slip pocket behind all of that. The ring capacity for the personal is 23 millimeters, lovely good ring mechanism, really solid sounding, nice and secure. Behind that, so at the back of the planner, you have the notepad pocket again, but you also have a vertical slip pocket at the back, which is very handy. In the personal, you just have the one pen loop at the back. And I would say that this is quite a small pen loop. I can't even get my Tombow in there. Like with the A5 size, it's a full leather pen loop. There is no elastic on here. 
when you buy the file effects mold and new you are going to get the file effects luxury fill in terms of contents now this may vary slightly year to year but in general you will get a transparent fly leaf you'll get the file effects ruler which you can also use as a page marker for today you'll get the top opening transparent pocket as well as six cardboard dividers you'll get note paper such as lined note paper dotted or squared note paper plain note paper as well as the to-do list contacts and a week on two pages for the year getting the luxury fill of contents items when you buy a new mold and makes it the ideal planner for being able to purchase and just get going with a planning routine because you really do have everything that you're going to need to get started three reasons why i love the mold and, and why i think you should consider adding this planner to your lineup number one it's simple uncluttered interior layout it truly helps you to be very intentional about the extras you add so that your planning routine can be focused instead of fussy number two the easygoing vibe that oozes quality craftsmanship such as the vintage style strap on the exterior as well as the bindings around the edge for me there's something that feels very dependable and old world about the design and details that adds to the molden's charm and desk appeal and finally number three because they are so well constructed you can usually find a pre-loved molden in great condition on marketplaces such as ebay have you got a molden in your lineup then comment below and share your experiences and i shall catch you in the next video which should appear over here somewhere bye for now bye